Okay, so everyone, hope you are doing okay. And so today we don't have much new toy, new toys. And so, uh, well, that demonstration is just ended. But just besides that, you know, the other demonstration, since that it's also a cultural day today and something to learn about Japan. Okay, so uh, I've been, you know, thinking about what to, what kind of culture should we bring it. I don't know if I can just bring enough, but just maybe uh, you can taste it. What is that in the Japanese living like that? And then one of the some, some interesting traditions and some interesting sweets are there here in Japan. So I like to just bring that, not that, not that these, you know, <laughs> capsule toys, okay? So these are not the, the other food, all right? But just, I want to just talk about and show you the uh, something very interesting. Here. It's called uh, Kuma Oka no Kashi. Zentsuji Meibutsu Yemoto Katapan Seizo Honpo Kuma Oka no Kashi. So it's, it says the Kumaoka or it's the Katapan. Maybe you can say that a Katapan. All right. So this is a, you know, kind of Japanese snack. I, I don't know if it's, I should say snack. Okay. But Katapan is a very popular, uh, you know, recently got a very popular on the TVs and everything because of the, some celebrities uh, introduced this on the TV and, you know, so what does it look like? Katapan literally means that the hard bread. <laughs> hard bread. That's kind of hard to believe that, but uh, I don't know if you can see this here. See that? Uh, you are now in the bag, paper bag. So these are the, uh, you know, looks like, let me show you. The shape is like this. Looks like a stone. <laughs> the sugar coated, and they say it's a bread, but uh, yeah, maybe you can say that, but more like a stone. Okay, so it's uh, it's from the Zentsuji Meibutsu, and so there's a city called the Zentsuji. That's where that I always goes to for the toy hunting. Okay, actually. There are many good toys there, you know, actually. So maybe you can come and join us, okay? And then we can, we can try this one too, okay? So Zentsu is a quite famous local foods for the Zentsu uh, people. And so Katapan, okay? They look like a rocks, I know, yeah. And they're sweet and not too sweet, but it uh, takes a little time to eat. Okay? So... People love that, you know, and I will show you, I will, I will taste that and later on, but I like to just show you the one website and uh, let me just, not website, but uh, here. So this, you know, you was it was your chat and you can see, and myself too, um, that's the store outside. And when you go to the Zen to the city and there's the, uh, okay. Katapan. Look at that many people, huh? And I really like that in you know, a traditional housing. Uh, and so that's what they do. It was uh, here. See? It's really nice, you know, constructions, building, very old. And katakana, it says katapan. And looks like they sell that all the katapans right there. I like that. Yeah, ERC Toku Reviews. I loves to go toy hunting with you, Mr. S. That would be fun. Yeah, I know. That would be fun. Maybe we should do that a kind of special tour. <laughs> right? Right? You guys can join that. Maybe we can just charter the one huge bus and join that everyone here in one bus and visit that the toy stores here, there, you know, over there. Okay. And uh, along the way, we visit that the Katapan store right here. Okay. And then we can just buy that souvenirs for your, I don't know, your friends in the back in home. And just explain that uh, how hard <laughs> that 
this snack is. Okay, so must be very popular because look at that, you know, many people line up right there. And I noticed that it's not just for the young people, but it looks like, you know, very popular among that and elderies too. So, well, uh, well let me, let me, sh let me tell you that what happened with this. This is, I didn't, I actually, I never been there. All right. I really want to go. Okay. So the, the other day, uh, the one, the bi one, a couple of business group, businessmen uh, came here in our office and, and uh, he, we've been working together to develop that special uh, application for the, uh, you know, uh, our business uh, shop running. Okay. So we are working at it. We are kind of working as a team. And then uh, one of the men brought us the souvenir and this katapan. Okay. So this is something, you know, we, oh, sorry. <laughs> it's not, uh, yeah, I know, I know. It says finish time. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time break. Okay. I think t my time is up. <laughs> okay. So, uh, what I'm saying is that, you know, we should uh, eat. Okay. So, uh, let me just try this one here. Okay. Once again, uh, the, it looks like a stone and sugar coated. See that? Sugar coated. It's hard. Uh, I don't have the hammer, but uh, maybe I can show you that, you know, see? <laughs> Kata. <laughs> ah, hurts. Oh. Uh, inside, nothing. I mean, I mean, I mean, there are some contents. I mean, uh, like a ingredients. It's like a really hard bread. It is, and it's sugar coated, and it's good. And um, this kind of you know uh, biscuits, or I'm sure that you guys have heard that. You know the hard, you know biscuits, and then uh, uh, many many navies and then uh, uh, sailors. Uh, maybe armies, soldiers, they have, the, they used to have, maybe they, maybe now, not too. They used to carry the, these hard bread or hard biscuit to survive. And, and I heard that, that this is one of the things that, you know, they, the soldiers used to carry here, katapan. And because it's so hard, when you are dist uh, you know uh, uh, starving for food and then uh, you want to eat more right you are hungry and on the on the on the uh, battlefield you just survived and then are looking for food and you have the emergency food here we go this is the emergency food see and so you can, you know, it's so hard to eat. And, you know, when you eat it, you are saliva. <laughs> you are, you, lots of you, you need a saliva to eat this. And it brings that in more waters to your mouth because saliva is coming out, right? And then it takes the time to eat them all. So it'll give you the time to do something next, to give you the time to survive so that at the, on the battlefield at something like this small thing but it's a food to give you the extra time I don't know the extra, what the extra time is this time okay so but anyway so this is the hard hard red and, and uh, very popular uh, here not it's, it's not a battlefield or could be the battlefield if there are many shoppers right Okay, but anyway, it's so hard to eat this. And let me try the one more, the second bite. Oh, karta. Mmm. 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 Ah, but tastes good though. When you eat, it's. Uh, 
lots of saliva comes out to make it softer and, and uh, you know, eatable. Actually, it's good. It's not too sweet. Mm. Kind of wanting that some more, you know. Have some more? Yeah? <laughs> Come on, get this one. <laughs> Come on, visit, visit us here so you can share that. We can share it with you. But this is good. Yeah. You know, maybe I can, you know, uh, I'm planning to go to another uh, long range toy hunting, uh, I believe next week. Okay. Maybe I should go there and buy some of this and start selling <laughs> from the CS toys. What do you think? Okay. That, that would be kind of interesting. You know, I'm just a guy just for fun. But this is good. I kind of like this one. They are easy to carry and they don't go bad as quickly. There you go, Project RDM. Yeah, that's that's the thing. Okay, it keeps you know. There, literally, there's no time. You know, uh, no any you know uh, recommended consume uh, consumption, you know, dates or anything like that. It's so hard. Probably six shots says probably throw it at enemies when you are out of the weapons because it is on you villains like this. <laughs> and they go they go like <laughs> eating that of those biscuits for you. <laughs> ERC Toku Review says there is a very old type of battlefield food called portable soup. Really? It is basically boiled down soup like a gummy, and I like to make some and try it, but it doesn't sound good. No, it doesn't sound good at all. <laughs> what? Portable soup. Yeah, sounds very tempting, <laughs> isn't it? Okay. Yeah, E.R.C. Tokyo, American Revolutionary War Age. <laughs> Maybe, uh, uh, and uh, NG says, maybe smash it with the hammer because became powdery bread. Yeah. Yeah, only if you have a hammer. Okay. Yeah, this is good though. You know, I like that. But I, I have to say that, you know, takes so much time and energy to eat all. You know, it looks like a small bag. It is a small bag. But <laughs> there's so many inside, and then, uh, if I take this for one, it takes one. Maybe how? Ooh, how many seconds do I need? Maybe to eat them all, maybe thirty seconds. Not in a ten seconds. No, you think that you can eat it? Ten seconds? You should try. You should try. You know, thirty seconds. You need this one. Yeah. So this is good, but quite challenging. Okay. <laughs> oh, Peter Energy. Okay. This. Okay. Peter, thanks. Thanks for that. Because I cannot pronounce that your name there. Okay. Peter, thanks. Try the stuff astronauts, or astronauts eat where food is compressed into paste so it looks like a toothpaste but the taste is the same as the actual food. Yeah, well, that's a very popular idea for the uh, NASA related food, yeah? right? Processed food. You know, kind of tube food. You know, like a Apollo age, like a 70, 60, late 60s and 70s that uh, all the astronauts have to eat with the, those tubed food. Like a beef steak? <laughs> beef steak. Can you imagine that beef steaks in a tube? No, not for me. But you know, thanks to the advantage advantage of the evolution of the food processing, and also, uh, I guess the uh, the spaceship has you know changed, updated so much. Now that these days, you know, the NASA astronauts can eat all different kind of the foods from the um, worldwide. I remember the JAXA, the Japanese, uh, uh, you know, the uh, space agency. 
and they produced uh, the takoyaki. <laughs> takoyaki for the uh, space astronauts food. I'd like to try that. And you know, you, I'm sure you have, you probably have tried that dried ice cream. You know, I when I heard, it didn't make sense at all. I mean, I mean, what is that in the world? What in, in the world? The dried ice cream, and it was tasted good too. I never tried that, you know, the takoyaki one, <laughs> but uh, that's good. Magna Rider right have that's right. Thor's hammer, we need that. You know, maybe he's strong, just stronger. <laughs> okay, so anyway, uh, this is something you know with food try, food, <laughs> food taste, food demo that I really wants to try. And uh, this is once again uh, the item is you can purchase it from uh, the store. There we go. Here, it's called uh, Mo uh, Kumamoto no Okashi, Kumamoto Kashiten, Kuma no, sorry, no Kumaoka, ne? the Kumaoka Confectionery Store, which uh, located in Zentsuji, Zentsuji Machi, San no Yon no Juichi, three four eleven. Okay, so this is where we can get it. Uh, I'm I'm kind of interested in this one here, so maybe I should go the next week uh, for the long range toy hunting trip. Because, you know, like I said, Zentsuji is the best place. And it's a great place that uh, we can find that a great toys there, used toys there. So maybe I should visit and drop by. <laughs> really nice. Okay. Look at that, you know, I really, especially I really like that, you know, the structure, the buildings. It's nice old stuff. I like that. You know? It says Katapan. Popular one. Okay. So thanks for joining and, and uh, uh, you know, I uh, hope you can uh, eat this with us sometimes in the future, okay? All right, so the uh, uh, we uh, move on to the uh, next, the, probably the last section of the uh, today's uh, alternative shows, 10 minutes to four now. And so uh, the lucky draw is coming up and someone going to get lucky after this. So, uh, well, don't go away. I'll be back, you know, wrapping up, all right? I'll come back. Thank you very much.